the fight in the world is not between good and evil, it is just one man's belief versus another man's belief, isn't it? Now, this many people believe my story, this many people believe somebody else's story. Can you stop these people fighting after some time? Initially, they will say bye-bye. Initially, they say, we are all brothers, we work together, this, that. But tomorrow, when these people insist our story is right, and these people also insist, insist our story is the real reality, can you stop them from fighting? Anyway, they will fight. Please understand, all the fight in the world is just one man's belief versus another man's belief simply because they believe things that they do not know. Why don't you be sincere enough to simply see that you don't know? If you see, I do not know, what you will do? You will seek. Because nobody can live with I do not know for too long. So you just believe something that somebody told you, it quells you, it puts you to sleep, but it doesn't get any it doesn't get you any closer to reality as such, isn't it? Just makes you believe one more story. Now, these stories, very entertaining, culturally rich, but if you're looking for enlightenment, if you're looking for liberation, if you're looking for going beyond your limitations, they are of no consequence. If you're just looking for color, if you're just looking how to decorate your life, then culture is useful. So let's not destroy the culture, let's enjoy the culture, but don't go by the stories. Don't believe or disbelieve the story, just enjoy the story, isn't it? Now, when it comes to creation, instead of asking why, if you see, right now you are a part of the creation, and like you said, you're entangled and stuck and drowning in the creation as you say. Not everybody may be drowning, but at least quite a lot of people feel that they're drowning, when things go wrong at least. When things don't go the way they want them to go, they feel they're drowning, isn't it? So right now, in some way you're entangled. Now if you ask me how to go beyond this, instead of asking why creation, if you, asking how, if you ask how to transcend creation, now I have a way, I have a method, I have a clear-cut path as to how to go beyond this. But if you ask me why, I can only tell you a story. Even if the story is true, still in your experience it is just a story, isn't it? Yes? Even if the story that I am telling is actually true, as far as your experience goes, it is just another story. If it appeals to your mind, you will believe it. If it does not appeal to your mind, you will not believe it. So, stories won't transform people. You believe God to be a demon and demon to be a God, it makes no difference because after all it's just your belief.